Hey there, teachers and students. My name is Benjamin, and I teach teachers the skills they need to pass certification exams. This is my series covering the Texas Math 7 through 12 exam for certification in Texas. This video is going to be part four in the section covering competency two, which requires teachers to understand the complex number system and its structures, operations, algorithms, and representations. The title of this lesson is Arithmetic Operations with Complex Numbers. Now, let's get right into it. While addition and subtraction with complex numbers is uh, a little bit beyond the math level for this particular exam, multiplication and division with complex numbers is actually very straightforward. So let's consider a situation where we're talking about a complex number in polar form. Z is equal to R times cosine theta plus I sine theta. All right. And let's assume that we also have some second complex number in polar form, we're going to call it Z2, and it will be defined by R2 times cosine theta 2 plus I sine theta 2, just to denote that we're talking about different numbers here. Then we can say that the product of Z1 and Z2 is really just what you see in the red box, R1 times R2 times the quantity cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus I sine theta 1 plus theta 2. It's very simple. Let's see. A similar situation is also true when you're trying to find the quotient, but instead of R1 times R2, it's just going to be R1 divided by R2. And instead of taking the sum of your two different angles, you are literally just going to take the difference of your two different angles. In fact, not just the difference, it's going to be theta 1 minus theta 2 if it is Z1 divided by Z2. If it was Z2 divided by Z1, it would be theta 2 minus theta 1. Easy peasy. All right, let's jump right into some examples. What is the simplest polar form for 44 times the quantity cosine 250 degrees plus I sine 250 degrees divided by 8 times the quantity cosine 170 degrees plus I sine 170 degrees? All right, let's go ahead and get started with this. So this is a quotient problem, so we are going to say that Z1, oh wait, let me grab my pen. We're going to say that Z1 is being divided by Z2. All right, and what this is going to look like is it's going to look like 44 over 8 times cosine 250 degrees minus 170 degrees. All right, plus I times sine. 250 degrees minus 170 degrees. Close that off. Oh, I didn't use the square brackets there. Close that off. And there you have it. Now, of course, you can you can simplify this a bit. So I can say um, looks like 11 over 2. All right. Um, times cosine. What do we got there? About 80. 80 degrees. Plus I sine 80 degrees and boom we're done this is the simplest form right here let's go ahead and move on to another example what is the simplest polar form for 4 cosine 27 plus i sine 27 times 13 cosine 100 plus i sine 100 all right easy peasy we got 4 times 13 all right and I'll put some square brackets on this one. That's what I should have done on the last one. Times cosine 27 plus 100 plus I sine 27 plus 100. All right, let's simplify this really quickly. Let's see, what's 13 times 4? Should be 52. times cosine of 127 degrees, 127 degrees, plus I sine 127 degrees. Close that off. And there you have it. All right, that's all for this topic, guys. It's as easy as that. If you have any questions or need further practice, don't hesitate to get in touch with me via the email address listed below. Also, smash the like button for me if you don't mind. But 
More importantly, share this resource with other teachers who might need it. I'll see you in the next one.